Again, there is nothing better than LA traffic where you don't have to do anything. No feet on the pedals. Car maintains the lane. Keeps me behind this one. Brakes when they break. Takes all the stress out of driving in LA. Thank you, Elon Musk. This is a sound test. Sound check, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. All right, a couple things. First, um, I still don't have a selfie stick, so you know who you are. You said, hey, get a selfie stick because we're way too close to your face. I get it, I'll get a selfie stick. This was a hobby, but since I'm becoming such a YouTube star now, I'll probably have to get the, uh, the stick. Uh, anyways, I've always wanted to do this. Uh, today we're gonna do a apples, orange test you know apples and oranges like they're not really the same but it's kind of a test you know comparing an apple to an orange and that's what we're doing today so let me explain this a little further cue the barking dog i'm going to compare the tesla auto assist on autopilot auto pilot assist enhanced autopilot that's what it is compared to so there's your apple compared to the orange which is the Ford Escape auto assist on autopilot. Auto enhanced assist. Anyways, a little uh, behind the wheel of each and then I'll give you my thoughts on the two. I know it's not a complete comparison of an electric car versus an electric car. Thus the Apple, the Tesla, first the orange, the Escape. Doing a little auto assist here. Enhance autopilot. I want to pick up food, so it's working pretty good. It did slow down pretty fast at the last light. It's pretty cool watching the cars go by on that screen. It shows your headlights are on. If I brake, it'll show the brake lights come on like that. If I signal, it'll show the signal on that little car. Pretty intuitive. Really amazing stuff. Super impressed with the tech of this car. It's like mind blowing that this is happening. Just really remarkable job by Tesla. All right, here we are again doing enhanced assist autopilot. So I've got it set to 53 miles an hour with two car lengths in between me and the car in front of us. And here it goes. I'm not putting any pressure on any pedal. I am not steering the car. The car is steering itself. It's gonna ask me to put my hand on the wheel and put some pressure every once in a while. I just did. And look at that. It is doing everything for me, staying right between the lines. And let's see if it breaks here. This guy's braking, it's braking, and it's a green light, but it's still braking for the car. That's pretty good. Um, and compared to my wife's uh, Ford Escape, this is like a hundred times better. Like you can tell that this car has so much more control over the autopilot functions. <clears throat> Whereas the Ford still seems a little bit jittery and I don't know, it doesn't just doesn't feel as tight. Like this feels really tight. Like it's it stays in the lane and it's not really like doing any swerving. It's just, I don't know, I can't explain it. It's just super, super tight. Um, I'm not doing anything. So here we come on a stoplight. Let's see how it does at the stoplight. Uh, we're doing 50 with a max of 53. This car is braking and I am ready to brake, but it's braking for me. And it is monitoring the proper distance. Uh, without me doing anything. This is freaking amazing. Like, unreal amazing. Going through the light, even though the stripe on the left went away. Asking for pressure on the wheel. I just give a little pressure. I'm applying pressure. I'm still applying pressure. There we go. And it's still doing its thing.
Mustang right behind this car <clears throat> who's going under the speed limit, so we are too. Speed limit is 50, which you can see there. And they just got up to 50, so. Wow, this is just mind blowing. This is just so awesome. Doing a little auto assist in the Ford Escape. And you can see that they have the heads up display, which I wish Tesla had. It is a lot more herky jerky than the Tesla. The wheel does a lot of correcting every single step of the way to keep it center of the lane. Uh, and it wants you to put your hands on the wheel frequently. Like it feels like it's every 10 to 15 seconds. Uh, braking's not bad. A couple times I've been nervous. Um, but driving the Tesla with the auto assist uh, cruise control, uh, it's about, I don't know, I feel safer, 10 to times safer in the Tesla than this thing. Um, still a little herky-jerky. I don't know why the wheel has to continue correct. Uh, just very slight corrections, so the wheel's always moving. Uh, there you go, little Ford Escape. I am not gonna lie, this is worth every penny of this car. I am driving to work, I'm in rush hour morning traffic, I'm in the carpool lane, and I'm not doing anything. And this is where LA is so stressful. Bumper to bumper, stop and go, gas brake, gas brake, gas brake. But here I am in the carpool lane, with a setting of one car length in front of me, a maximum speed of, oh, put my hands on the wheel. Maximum speed of 76, and the car is doing it all. This takes away so much stress, you can't imagine. A ton of stress is lifted in this kind of commute. There you have it, my first ever apples versus oranges test. And let me say this, since the last video, I set the goal the highest we've ever set it. I said, let's get 10 new subscribers. We got 14, we're up to 71. YouTube stardom, I'm here. Now the pressure's on to produce content. Wow, this YouTube thing, not easy. So I have a couple videos in the hopper. We're gonna do an RPM Tesla video. And also the car is in the shop right now at Fantasy Motorsports with a Z. Those videos are coming out very soon, so stay tuned. Let's set a new goal, all right? So we hit 14 subs. I don't want to get greedy. Um, I asked for 10, so let's say 71. Quick math. Let's go 85. Let's get to 85. Phone a friend. Get a viewer. Have your kid become a viewer. Your cousin. Your gardener. Whatever. Let's do it. Until then, Todd Sla, over now. Oh, <laughs>